Oh my god, guys, Marvel has been saved, the Russo brothers are back, and everything is gonna be fine over there in the House of Ideas. Now, I hear you, okay? You hear the ter you hear the words, the Russo brothers, the, the brainchild behind the two most celebrated Captain America movies, Winter Soldier and Civil War, the guys that brought you Infinity War and Endgame, coming back on board to direct a... Avengers 5 and Secret Wars. Everything is going to be great. Well, I've got some issues. I've got some problems with this, or at least I can see some problems on the horizon because Marvel, well, they're going to need a little bit more than just a couple of wonder directors to come back. Some people that they can go ahead and pull out of stasis. Just harken back to nostalgia, back to 2019 when you guys were actually making some money to go ahead and turn this stuff around. Give the guys, give the guys the keys to the castle who set you up for the situation that you had to go ahead and bring them back and pay them exorbitant amounts of money to come back and fix. So you're telling me you're telling me the guys who yeah okay brought you some of the best movies in the mcu civil war and infinity war are constantly pointed to as two of if not the best films in all of marvel but then you have oof, then you have to explain away the intense stupidity of endgame and you want to set these guys up in the exact same way you want to give them the you want to give them control of avengers 5 which we don't even know what that's going to be called remember that used to be kang dynasty but oopsie daisy how can it be kang dynasty if you don't have a Kang and then you want to let them set up Secret Wars which is once again going to be another universe shaking event who knows if time travel well if it's going to be bringing back all of those familiar faces uh, definitely is going to have a touch of that uh, you're going to let them try this again with a few more miles under their belt and uh, just as many hits as they left the MCU with they're coming back with we've got some problems on top of that okay they're dealing with a vastly different landscape and well they're gonna have to go ahead and negotiate an MCU that is very different than the one that they left so the headline reads Marvel shocker Russo brothers in talks to direct next two Avengers movies just when you and the Russos themselves quite frankly thought they were out Kevin Feige is pulling them back in because yeah it wasn't that long ago when they were talking about the kind of banal state to the superhero genre they were making some i can't even remember the stupid statements that they were making it was specifically about marvel fatigue and yeah that's gonna be very interesting because yeah they're coming back to what correct marvel fatigue but they have all the answers right uh joe and anthony russo are assembling a team once again the russo brothers are in early talks to return to marvel studios to direct not just one but the next two avengers movies sources tell the hollywood reporter yeah of course these are all rumors but then again these rumors have been going around for quite a long time now and given the fact that this has just been a hot potato in the director's seat of these avengers films where we've heard the likes of sam raimi i think it was offered to deadpool and the wolverine director sean levy and he's like nah bro i'm good i'm sure they had hopes that i don't know one of the films that they've released in the past at this point in time what five years would have been a hit but oh boy it's been slim picking since then uh hiring ends months long high stakes search for the studio's filmmakers to oversee the fifth and sixth avengers films multiple names were in contention including yep sean Le or sean levy just mentioned that one offered the gig sources says those talks were in the early stages uh the more Oh, the move also marks a homecoming for the Russos, who jumped from the world of TV comedy. Oh, so I guess that kind of makes sense as to why Marvel continues to try to pilfer the likes of Rick and Morty and the tree of Dan Harmon to find anybody of talent. You have to turn that o mine over and find even just a vein of gold. But yeah, with Captain America, the Winter Soldier... That was their first in at Marvel. Helmed, yes, for the biggest and best regarded movies in franchise with Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame combi er, combined. Uh, their Marvel films grossed six, uh, $6.6 eight one billion dollars with endgame yeah in the number two movie of all time with 2.79 billion dollars but at that point in time was it really their film okay that you could attribute to them being a huge success or was that a culmination of 10 years of storytelling and that's what i mean that's what i'm concerned with with their return on this one but let's get through a little bit more of the backstory right uh the year since they've become uh mega producers under their agbo banner yes uh, producing best picture winner everything everywhere all at once and pricey titles such as amazon citadel netflix extraction movies now the extraction movies they're well regarded at least the first two and that's them working with
with a familiar face in the form of Chris Hemsworth. So I guess the Russos coming back to direct the Avengers lets you know that at least there's a higher than likely possibility that Thor could return. But I mean... When they said, you know, in the opening line, you know, the Russos are assembling a team. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to be doing the Avengers movies, what the fuck are your Avengers teams looking like? Okay, that's a big question because guess what? You don't have Robert Downey Jr. You don't have Iron Man. You have Captain America, but it's not Chris Evans. It's not Steve Rogers. You might have the Hulk because Mark Ruffalo isn't doing anything else, but you got a She-Hulk. You don't have Chadwick Boseman's T'Challa. You don't have Black Panther, but you've got Shuri. You can bring in Captain Marvel, which was an anchor around the neck of Endgame. Did you expertly worked your way around but here's the thing we're five years removed from endgame who the hell are the avengers benedict cumberbatch will come back but shang chi florence pew is gonna be in the thunderbirds who the hell are the thunderbirds that's a big problem and then when it comes to people behind the camera i mean i hear that michael waldron is no longer writing any of the avengers films neither is jeff loveness the two masterminds behind Doctor, Ver uh, I'm sorry, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, and Ant-Man, Quantumania, respectively. So in order to make good films, you're going to have to find competent replacements. But there's also another big problem on this one, okay? And something else that um, I think people should be pointing out. Because outside of the people that follow this stuff closely, f have followed and tracked the downfall of Marvel, the names Joe and Anthony Russo don't mean much to the public, okay? You can go ahead and put a nameplate out front of your next trailer saying... Uh, from the directors that brought you Infinity War, Civil War, Captain America, and Winter S and the Winter Soldier movie that's going to be twice removed from the latest iteration of Captain America, and the blockbuster that was Endgame that a lot of people have turned in in recent years. When was the last time, like outside of Christopher Nolan, when has a director brought people into the cinema? When was the last time that you could say, you know, this right here, this is a Martin Scorsese film, and that's going to put butts in seats. There aren't any directors outside of Christopher Nolan, and even Martin Scorsese can't do it anymore. I mean, how many people went to the theater and checked out Flowers of the Killer Moon? Oh, right, it was a box office bomb. This is a move for insiders. It's a sign that, yeah, potentially Marvel has learned from their giant mistakes. Them going back to the formula that worked before, but here's another thing, man, okay? We've seen legendary minds come back to the properties that A, they did well by, and B, they made their bones on, and then it, it delivers some of the worst put in that franchi or franchise's history. Something else that's under the Disney umbrella, Doctor Who right now with Russell T. Davies, the venerable Jesus of that franchise franchise, resurrecting it from the dead and delivering it all the success that knew who brought you all the way up until Chris Chibnall took over and he had the first female doctor and the writing completely and totally fell off a cliff. And then when Russell T. Davies come back, well, you know, you thought that you were at the bottom of that cliff, but no, 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 bro. It was just a ledge. There's so much farther to fall. What about Ridley Scott? Everything that he's done with Alien since he re-entered the fold? What he's about to do to Gladiator at the end of the year? Sometimes, sometimes creatives coming back isn't a good thing. Just like all artistic individuals, you eventually lose a step. Bands tend to be capable of putting out their most iconic work at the beginning to the midpoint of their career. Towards the ends, yeah, you might have a banger, okay? Like the Stones can go ahead and put out a bigger bang and then everything post-2005, who even knows? Uh, Judas Priest, one of my favorite bands, arguably my favorite band. Since their reunion, yeah, they've had, uh, what is it, five albums or something like that? Firepower from 2019 is an all-timer. Invincible Shield, kind of crap. Notre Dame, I can still smell how bad that stinks. Angel of Retribution, bit of a mixed bag, and then Redeemer of Souls, quite good. Why wouldn't you expect the same thing from the Russos? And I understand, you know, it's not people coming back after decades and decades honing their craft in other areas. It's just, I've seen what they've done, okay? We've well, seen the results of what they've done in the interim, and yeah, they were producers for everything, everywhere, all at once. Citadel, <laughs> enormous bomb. Extraction? fine for streaming what would they do in the theaters we're never going to know that but they were also attached to was it red notice or the gray man i forget one of, one of two bombs and nobody cares about and that netflix spent an exorbitant amount on oh it's the gray man yeah yeah jerry for apple working with tom holland yeah the gray man i think that was chris evans so yeah they've stayed in touch with a bunch of their fellow marvel alums but uh, 
what what's the status of Spider-Man in the MCU? Outside of Secret Wars, can you get Chris Evans back? It's not like he's, you know, busy doing anything else. But even still, what's going to be the direction for Avengers 5? Because the fifth Avengers movie was previously titled Kang Dynasty, but, oh boy, we don't talk about that anymore. Shang-Chi, the Legend of the Ten Rings director, Destin Daniel Cretton. What an awful name. I was once attached to direct Kang Dynasty, okay, but he departed a month after Major's convictions because it's like, we don't know what we're doing, so... We don't want to tie you up there, cretin, so be on your way. Sixth Avengers film is Secret Wars, which is a storyline the Russos have long talked about wanting to adapt. Yeah, exactly, which is basically, I'll just give you the 30,000 foot view on that one. It's a full and total reset. So here's the thing. Avengers 5 is set for May 1st, 2026 release. Secret Wars a year later, May 7th, 2027. But who's who's the big bad? We have no idea. We've been through a phase and a half and we have no idea who the big bad was they said that kang was going to be set up there was going to be kang dynasty he was beaten in every single iteration that you've seen him he was turned to spaghetti in loki season two he got stabbed by sylvie in season one and then he got left in the quantum realm by ant-man at the conclusion of that abomination he was made out to be a joke what are they going to bring in dr doom galactus we got the female Silver Surfer coming in for the Fantastic Four. What the hell are you going to do? Because there's a lot of work to be done. And if all of that stuff is supposed to be coming out, they're supposed to be making their triumphant return. The Avengers is finally coming back to the theaters seven years on from their first, I'm sorry, from their last cinematic endeavor. And it's going to be the first time around with people that you don't care about. Because for as much as you could say that, yeah, Hawkeye and Black Widow were add-ons back in the first Avengers film, you would be lucky, lucky to get that type of star power the next time around. Because you can't just call up and have Scarlett Johansson play a role like that. You can't just call up Jeremy Renner, Mark Ruffalo. You're stuck with Simu Liu. You're stuck with Haley Steinberg. But hey, I don't want to be too much of a Debbie Downer because this shows you that Marvel, that's attempting to heal more than any other brand under the Disney banner. Is it going to be enough though? I don't know man because they're going to be learning Disney and Marvel here in the short term. A lot of the wrong lessons from the success of Deadpool and Wolverine which I kind of resigned to. Yeah is probably going to make a billion dollars. I didn't think it would. I thought that people were turned off from Disney enough but at this point in time people are just really starved to go back to the theaters apparently. Oh well. Hopefully you have fun. Hopefully it's good reviews and people are starting to have the opportunity to go check it out here in the very near future even by the time that you see this video here professors might already be out so hopefully it's good i hope everybody that goes and sees it or wants to go and see it has a great time with it i'm not going to check it out deadpool's never been my thing for as much as i like hugh jackman's wolverine i'll probably sit this one out but you also have to reckon with the previously mentioned fantastic four captain black falcon america man or captain african america blade if they can figure out how the hell to make a simple vampire or vampire hunter movie work oh my god but yeah that's the perfect analogy to make you can't figure out how to do a blade movie but you're going to try to fix everything with the Avengers, not knowing who the Avengers are, not knowing who's going to be writing the script. Once again, trying to put the cart in front of the horse and then, yeah, setting up the same guys in the exact same situation that led you to the point in time where you have to call back and call in old favors. Not exactly a winning strategy, but I wish the best for you. Hope it works out. I'm just saying, isn't looking like a winner. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.